Man, y'all probably why. I'm so excited. Old school today. Old school, a highly requested video. Man, today we're gonna do some fried smothered squirrel. I'm gonna serve it on top of rice. And man, I'm telling you, in the winter time around here, them, you can get them real good. And I had a big request to do these squirrels. I'm so excited to get started on it. There's a highly requested video, so we ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna do some fried squirrel, man. I'm gonna get my groove on too. Cook it general. Ask somebody. Woo, man, welcome back, man, to the Cooking General, man. You can see I'm excited. Now, I wanted to show y'all they were squirrels off where I left the foots on. We're going to cut these on off, but I wanted to show y'all that they are squirrels, as you can see. Now, what we're going to need to do these squirrels, okay, we're going to uh, serve it with rice. So I got my rice here, and I'm going to use this here jasmine rice right here. But uh, you're going to need some vinegar, and we're going to boil them first, just a little bit. We're going to boil them a little bit before we cut, uh, cut them up and fry them. So first, we're going to use some vinegar. And we got all purple flour to fry them in, but you're going to need your onion and bell pepper. And I got some garlic here, fresh garlic. And then my grandmother, she used to always use her pickled preserves and stuff, pickled peppers. And I got banana peppers and jalapeno peppers. I'm going to put it in there too when I'm boiling it. I'm going to use a little Sony, Tony's. I'm going to use some um, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and some salt. And we're going to get them in the water. We're going to get them boiled. And man, you talking about squirrel, man. Hey, y'all want me to see me do this here? Let's do it, man. You talking about good, too. I don't know, man. Some of y'all don't eat this kind of stuff. But hey, hot food going now? <laughs> we all going to be eating squirrel. You better ask somebody. All righty, welcome back to the Cooking General. You can see I got my squirrels here. Got them all washed off and clean. Now, we're going to put them in some water right here. Now, I'm trying to give you a perspective of what I use. Right here, I got my banana peppers. I got my jalapenos. I got my garlic, onions, bell pepper. We're going to dump them in now. Like that. And I, I can, you can cut them up before, but I'm gonna wait till I boil mine, to cut, cut mine up. Now, this is a little bit what I use. Salt, black pepper, the cayenne pepper, and also your seasoning salt. Now, you gotta realize when you fry it, you're gonna season it again a little bit, so you don't over season it like that there. So let's get that in the water. And the main thing, you don't forget your vinegar. Now, since these are small, cool, they, they, I mean, pretty small squirrels, they pretty much tender, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to taste like pickles. So I'm just going to put two caps of vinegar that kind of kills the wild taste and help them tend them up. Now, the cooking general is fitting to do this here. And it's going to be on, man. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. You might put a little bit in there, too. It ain't going to hurt. Hey, ask somebody. All right. Welcome back to the cooking general. As you can see, they are finished boiling. I took them out the pot. And... It's tender just by ten. I want them. I don't want it to come off the bone because I want to fry these here, and I want to have them a little pull on them, but not too much of a pull. I still want them to be tender, and that's right there. You stick your knife in there or a fork, and you can kind of twist it. If you can twist the meat and it comes up like that, you got them tender enough, right there. Now I'm gonna cut them up, and it's gonna be six pieces. Cut them up in six pieces, and we're ready to fry them. Let's get that done. Ask somebody. All right, there you go, right there, six pieces. There you go, you chopped up. You got your leg, your leg, your leg, your leg. And then you take the body part and you chop it in half. And I've also done it with the other one too. Leg, 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 and the two body parts chopped in half. That's how you got to do it, like that there. Now you can chop it up any way you want to, but this is normally the way we done it and we done this back in the days. So let's get ready to batter this booger and fry it. And yeah, we're going to put a more season on it. Cook in general, ask somebody. All right, welcome back to the Cooking General. You can see, I got in, you can put it in old plastic bags, especially when you're out here camping like me. Hey, this dude is in go old bag. You ain't got to use no fancy. Now, I got the same uh, tonus. I got black pepper, my salt, and my cayenne pepper right in here. I'm shaking it up in my flour after I just got it boiled. Then you get your grease hot. Then all you got to do, take it in there, and you drop it in your fry. That's all you got to do. And I'm using Old Faithful again. I'm going to use my new skill. Y'all will see me be using it pretty soon. But hey, I'm not worried about it right now. And I'm also going to use this here grease to make my, my uh, gravy too. So, hey, stay tuned, man. The cooking general is going to do this here. And I'm hoping I can get all these pieces off in here. I know I don't want you to overcrowd the skillet, but it's a small squirrel, so I think I can get it all in there. If I can't, oh well. A little piece there. Now let's keep it going. Right there. Right there. And still make sure you don't leave. Don't leave no shoot. I ain't got nothing to waste. Nope. Okay, ain't nothing in there. Alright. 
Let's get this to fry. Come back when it's fried. I'll show you how it look. And then we're going to put it in the gravy. Cook it general. Ask somebody. All righty. You can see it's frying. You get it brown and tender. I got it turned. Almost ready. All right. There we go. We got it fried up. And it's ready to go. Now, I got my got my grease off of there. Now, I already got the grease in there. So, I uh, saved a little of that grease. I put some butter in there. Got the onion and bell pepper. And I got you have your water stand by. Let's get ready to make these gravy. Cook in general. Ask somebody. All right, welcome back. We got the onions, the pepper gravy going. Now you want it a little bit thinner than you start off. I had it thick, but I, that's the color I wanted. So I went on and um, added some more water to it because now I'm finna to add, there we go, my squirrel to it. And we're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna let this sear, cook, and so, smother down in this gravy. And boy, you talking about good. All right, got it in there. Now, keep you some water on standby too. And let's get this going. Come back, I'll show you when it's finished. Cook in general. Ask somebody. All right, there you go. It is ready. It's in its gravy. It's nice. It's tender. And man, you're talking about good. And you serve that over a bed of rice. Let me that spin. Let's just look at that. See that? And it has got the flavor. It's got the seasoning. And it is ready to go. Man. Mm -hmm. If I went holding this in my campers here, I would show you. Man, this stuff is. I not. I'm gonna eat a piece right now. This piece right here. Mmm. Man, you should try this. Hey, we all gonna be eating this one day. Maybe coon, maybe rabbit, <laughs> maybe possible. All right, let's conclude this video. Cook a general. Ask somebody. Oh, back to the cook a general, man. Hey. Now that was good, man. Y'all eat squirrels, man. You gonna love it. You gonna love that squirrels, man. Hey, we might be all eating them one day, but it was good. It came out delicious. Now you can, you know, change up the recipes, switch the little things that I did. Remember, I only teach basic. Do what you like to do. But I was happy to do this for you. I'm glad I got it out the way, and now we can rejoice. Cooking general.